electric vehicles or EVs are dubbed the future of mobility as one of the methods to reduce the near total reliance on fossil fuels. And even though India is quite a new entrant in this segment, the country is on the path to becoming one of the largest EV markets by 2030. According to independent studies, the EV market in India will be a $206 billion opportunity by 2030. This will be mostly led by the two-wheeler segment. Last 12, 13 years, the government's been trying to push the mobility sector to start converting towards electric. Looking at you know power conversion, you're going to look at emissions conversion and how we get there. Two wheelers and three wheelers in the last mile transport, we've actually got to start acting on them now. But as the country ambitiously moves towards a new electric era, the two-wheeler EV sector is undergoing a major crisis. Over four electric scooters have caught fire in seven days. For an incident, a 42-year-old man was killed when the EV battery that he was charging exploded. Over the past month, several fire incidents have raised serious questions regarding passenger safety with electric vehicles. So the question is, why are e-scooters in India catching fire? From smartphones and laptops to electric cars, lithium-ion batteries are the most popular battery type that are used. A lithium-ion battery consists of an anode, cathode, separator, electrolyte and two current collectors. The electrolyte carries positively charged lithium ions from the anode to the cathode and vice versa, creating a charge. The key things that make a lithium-ion battery better than other kinds is its lightweight, high energy density, durability, and ability to recharge. However, one of the biggest benefits of lithium-ion batteries, its high energy density, can also be a potential reason behind the battery's undoing. If I have to explain this in one line, it is a battery pack's uh, inability to manage itself. I think in one line that is what it is. So, uh, what happens typically is a short circuit <coughs> inside the battery. It could be at the cell level, cell design level, or it could be at the battery pack design level, or it could be the BMS software, which whose job is to use sensing and software intelligence to manage the batteries. One deformed cell inside a battery, that could be it. It could, you know, create a problem when there is a when it gets overcharged or something like that. So, so if the BMS, which is the battery management system, is inaccurately detecting, not detecting, um, a potential incident like this, or an overcharging incident, it could happen. And this is not the only case. With growing market demands, manufacturers are not spending enough time in designing products and testing standards prescribed by government bodies. This hurry to get batteries into market leads to poor cell quality, bad battery design and poor battery management system. With increasing incidents of electric two-wheelers catching fire, the government has pivoted into action. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari also announced that any EV company found to be negligent with customer safety will be penalised heavily. He also issued orders to recall the defective electric vehicles. It's actually not a very large problem. We can solve this problem with uh, extensive testing, which under very stringent conditions, of course. And we need, uh, we need very stringent safety standards. And it's most importantly, compliance with those standards. I think that is what we need. The two-wheeler EV market in India has seen an exponential growth in the past year with a record sale of 2.33 lakh units. And with India's vision to turn 80% of two-wheeler sales into electric by 2030, the issue of exploding batteries should be addressed and rectified immediately.